Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to focus on how to implement multiple agent in Schematic Kernel application. First, we will understand what is agent. The next step, we will understand what is multiple agent. Third step, we will see one demo how to implement multiple agent concept. Let's start. So before starting this agent concept, I just give some overview about the process, how it is going. So first, we started with the chatbot. So it's like normal, uh, simple back and forth chat with the answer. If you ask some questions, then the chatbot response. This is the first stage. Second, there is a concept called rack. This guy main used for this getting the real time data. That is a here they mentioned grounded in real data. This is a phase two. After that, we move to this uh, copilot. So the main job of copilot work side by side with the user to complete task. So user redirect to the copilot to finish the task. Or user ask copilot to do some job. So that is a third stage. This copilot, I have already uh, created one of video series about how to implement this tiny copilot application. I provide the link. You can find this uh, uh, copilot. So how we can implement the copilot concept. So finally, the latest one, agents. The main job of agents that can respond to simulate with the minimal human interaction. So we can create the agent so that the agent do all the automation work like human so if any uh, interaction is needed user input needed that time only it will communicate to the user and get the um, input to processing further so let's move into a little bit further on this agent so how the agent is built llm agents are powered by large language model so these agents powered by this llm models maybe whether this GPT model or Google uh, Gemini, whatever it is. So this completely LLM agents. So this agent uh, can generate the human like text, perform function calls, maybe interrupt code. So there are a lot of tasks this can agent can do. And this agent this make ideal uh, for application such as chatbot, virtual assistant and other tasks using this uh, LLM capability. So this is agent. So what is multi-agent or multiple agent? So multiple agent, agent only, but this guy will, one agent can talk to other agents. For Let's say for example, this agent want to communicate to agent two, that is possible. Same way agent two, agent three. So how many agent you built in? So you can talk to everyone in the programmatic way. So this is a multiple agent. Next step, we implement this agent using in semantic kernel application. Our idea here is we are going to create three agent, one for principal agent and second one for English agent, third one for max agent. So the main job of max teacher, if any max up uh, problem is coming, this guy will solve it like that if any uh, English uh, related query like grammar correction or maybe spelling correction this kind of information is coming this English teacher will handle it finally this guy will approve whether uh, English and the max teacher done the job correct or not this guy will finally will approve so let's move on to visual studio we implement this concept in visual studio I have created own project called SK agent after that in the NuGet package to install two main package. Of course, uh, semantic kernel is default one. After that, you have to install agent.core and agents.abstraction. These two package you should install to uh, implement this agent in uh, semantic kernel application. So go back to our uh, main program.cs file. So here I have created the kernel builder object to pass my deployment ID, endpoint, and the API key. So the next step, as I mentioned, we have to create the three agent. One is max, 
English. So this three agent we have to create. So here I go to the function max agent. The max agent we have to use the class called chat completion agent. This class we have to use to create the agent. We have to add the variable name. This, these are the three main property we have to use it. The first property called the instruction. Here we have to specify the agent work. So what type of work this agent going to handle. So the instruction I mentioned here about the max uh, teacher. You are going to handle the complex uh, concept. And one more I mentioned here. Do not handle any other subjects. Created the max agent object here to pass the instruction. Second step, we have to provide the name of the agent. So the name property we have to use and uh, mention the agent name. I mentioned the agent name is a max teacher. And the third one is a kernel. We have to pass a kernel object also. So once it's built, I just written the max agent. The next one for same for English. I prepare the English instruction, English agent instruction and fill required properties. Like that principal information. So here I mentioned you should receive complete user information. That means this English agent and max agent, they will receive only if they have max related query if user submitted. That time only based on the question, if it is max is present, then max agent come to picture. Same for English. If English related, maybe like, uh, uh, you know, correct the grammar mistake or spelling mistake, this kind of information is coming. That time only the agent, English agent come to picture. But this guy, principal agent, he received both information. So this guy job is, as I mentioned, this guy will check the results, evaluate the results, what uh, English agent done and max agent done. So he will check one more time. That's the instruction for uh, this agent. And I mentioned the name and kernel builder. So these three agent we created. And the next step, this agent should talk each other. That means this principal agent should talk to English teacher. The same principal agent talk to Max teacher also because he should validate the uh, results. So to communicate one agent to another agent, this multiple agents, we have to use a class called agent group chat. So this class we have to use and we have to pass the agent information, how many agent we are using it. So this is a param class here. So we can pass the agent one by one. So I passed as a principal agent, English agent, max agent as an argument here. The next one main uh, settings I mentioned here, the execution setting. Here I created the agent group chat settings. Here I mentioned the termination strategy. So somehow the conversation should end between the agent. So somehow finish the task and we get the result. So that settings I made it here. And the maximum how many times they can talk each other. I put five. It's based on again the uh, problematic statement. So it is problematic statement is more step is required to agent talk to each other based on that we have to increase this number. This is a simple uh, problem I'm going to discuss. So I just keep as five here. And which agent going to take the approval? Uh, okay, we finish the task. So we can stop the uh, further uh, steps. So that agent, of course, is a principal agent because this guy only finally will approve. Okay, this English, English agent and the max agent done the job. So you have to validate and finish the task. So that I passed as a principal agent. And one more here is we have to create one user defined class, this approval termination strategy class. Uh, so here I created the class in the down. So it should derive from this uh, termination strategy class. Here I created my class approval termination strategy. And here I overwrite the class should agent terminate or not. So this function we have to overwrite and checking the condition if the principal agent approve. That means once a principal agent validate uh, English and max agent answers, so this guy will approve or not approve, whatever it is. Finally, he take one decision. 
if it is contains related to approve non approve then terminate the process so that information also specified in the agent group chat so the, here we mentioned that information the next we are going to as a user we are going to pass our query to this agent so we have to use this chat only the chat should contain the information add chat message here we have to pass the user request so the first request i added here as a user i added so here i made some uh, grammar mistake spelling uh, errors this is a one uh, statement for english agent and another user request just as please provide the sum of 12 and 13 this is for the max teacher these two information added to this agent group so here we started execution so just call this uh, chat dot invoke async function we just call it and leave it this one at the moment so here the main code this one i print the role so what is the role whether user or assistant that information i am displaying here the role the second information is the author name author name means here is the agent name which agent is handling the uh, query that agent name i specified and finally content and here i just uh, make the difference in the console application uh, for example if the agent name is a principal uh, just change the color in the console application red english teacher means blue max teacher means green so that we can quickly uh, see the difference in the console app which uh, agent i get the response that's the reason i made it so these are the main step we have to use the chat invoke and print the results finally what is the status so the agent group chat agent is completed or not so this statement is made by this approval what we added here this termination strategy based on that this it will come so that's it the main uh, code we quickly run and uh, see the result just print a hello agent in semantic kernel so we get the result one by one but there is a catch here because why this guy received this max question this should handle by the max teacher not the in this guy so we have to did some mistake i just stop the application and go to the agent group chat i just made on changes remove this principal cha agent so i passed as the last one we start again so that it will go to if any english related questions then english agent like max finally go to the approval state yeah seems to be now fine first english teacher received the english questions to correct the error so this guy done the job we go and verify it here so here i pass a it's a mistake so it changes a kernel like that like that powerful language yeah seems to be working the next one is a max teacher the sum of the number 25 here is a simple step breakdown this guy provide the steps also finally our master should approve it so this guy verify english and max evaluation correct the correct sentence is grammatically accurate and the sum is fine so approved super so this is the agent uh, how in working in semantic kernel we do one more step also in which scenario this guy should not approve it as a principal so i stop the application i add one condition just for a testing purpose like if the sum coming as 25 you should not approve it so here we add the condition like the sum is 25 and don't don't approve don't approve the result we start again yeah english teacher max teacher finally 
here we can see based on the evaluation I cannot approve the result as a sum of 12 and 13 is 25. Actually this is just for a learning purpose I added here the condition if 25 don't approve it just understanding how approve and not approve it's coming.